1973 Rolls Royce Silver Shadow 1 in dark green with a green Everflex roof and green interior. To me, great, great colours this one. I'm not normally a fan of Everflex roofs, but with it being such a subtle colour, it looks really, really well. Been off the road since 2009. Uh, recently had been recommissioned and put back on the road after dry storage. Current owner of over 10 years. Uh, and it's recently just had a full brake overhaul. So you've got no problems with the brakes there. Right, body work wise, we're going to start off on the bonnet. There's a few marks in the paint here and there, which you'll see. A little bit of a, a mark, a little dent on the bonnet top there. Like I say, in the paint, there is a few little little pittings, little bits of marks here and there. But overall, you know, take a couple of paces back. Nice and shiny, very presentable, this one. Start off on the scuttle and see it's all the way on there. Like I say, a few marks in the paint itself, if you can see that. But all all right, no rust around the scuttle. Windscreen is all nice. No major delamination like you normally get on these ones. As we go down the bonnet onto the grill, the grill itself looks good. You've got no major pitting. On the front, a little bit of pitting on the badge. The slats are all nice and straight. Around the headlights is all fine. You know, around the corner here is all good. The light ledgers themselves are nice and clear. A little bit flat down the bottom corner here around the grill. Onto the bumper. Bumper's all all right. Looks to be in a little bit there on that corner as you work your way along. The overriders are all okay. A little bit of pitting, but not bad at all. Again, light lenses, nice and clear, crack free. A little bit flat on the paintwork around this corner. As we go down onto the driver's front wing, it's same again all, all over the car. There is a little bit in the paintwork. You know, it's obviously had some paintwork in its life. The arches themselves, no rust coming through that I can see on the arch themselves, but there's a few little marks here and there. Like I say, little bits in the paint. On that wing, Avon's all round, nice, nice hubcaps there. Onto the driver's door, we'll go along the top. Looks all right, a little bit of a chip there. Mirror's fine, but the glass is a little bit faded. So we go along the door tops. We'll go around the handles. Let's say a little bit in the paint. Doesn't seem to be any rust around the handles. A little bit of a mark here, but around there's all clean. The trims are all okay on the side. As we go down, we'll do the sill first so you can have a good look at the sill. Doesn't seem to be jacked in the silly places like well, you get. Leading out to the doors, all alright. A little bit flat in the corner there. But very presentable car, especially. I see that green on green is really nice. The chrome on the doors are all nice on the driver's side. All nice and straight across the top of that door. And we'll go down the back, a little bit of a light burn through there on the paint and a few little chips on the door, but again, nice and straight that door, along the bottom trim, on the rear arch, this is what people want to see now, we'll go inside the arch up there with a bit of dodgy camera work, all nice and straight, you know, you put your hand behind it and feel the lip, same again, a few little blebs in the paintwork, but, you know, nice and solid, no rust coming through there, on the bottom, a little bit of a mock, down the bottom, but the rest of that looks all nice and tidy, Hub caps all right there as well, but like I say, nice and straight. But it's got plenty of paint on it by the looks of it. A little bit of mark on the roof there. We'll do the roof while I'm here. So a flex roof in green. It's lifting a little bit there, like they always do. But again, all nice and tight along the front and in the middle. Good, good colours. This one really is. Back window again, tiny bit of delamination, but the rest of it looks alright. The seals look okay. Across the top of the boot now, as we go down. Boot lid itself's got some light scratching in it, and it's a little bit thin in places. You can see on the paint, it's a little bit thin in places, and we've got some paint flake here on the boot, but kind of adds to the age of the car, adds to that sort of look. You'd be happy to drive around as, as is, I would say. Around here looks all right, a little bit of a crack there, but no rust coming through that. And see, across the boot's all good, a little bit of pitting on the badge, and it's missing. The silver shadow badge there. Light lenses again are all all right. A little bit flat in that crevice there. Across the back, I think it's missing the valance there. 
Sometimes I have a Valencia, I don't know if the shallow ones did. Right lens is all good. A little bit of pitting in the in the chrome work here. And this chrome work on this back corner wants some attention. The bump is there, but it wants re chroming really. As we go down the driver's side, uh, passenger side, sorry, we uh, will do the valance. You can have a go at the valance there. See the valance as we go up again. I like see the arches on this. The metal works all there, it's lovely. In my opinion, that arch is all nice. There's no rust coming through where they normally split down here, you know, and they normally split down the bottom. That's all good, nice and presentable. Quarter's good. A little bit of a part and dent there, but again, that arch. It's so what normally costs you the money. It feels all right to me. We'll go on the lip again, so you can have a look around the lip. Sensitive price, this one. Nice to see the shadows are way up in money. A little bit thin there. You know, it's always been polished, you can tell. It's had plenty of polish on it in its life. A few little burn throughs here and there. A little bit of a mark on the back of the door. See, so, you know, things like that. It's a little bit light, but overall, all presentable. Down. The passenger rear door again is all nice. This chrome here wants replacing the pillar because it's got a dent there and it's not quite sitting straight. I'm sure if you ring flying spares, we'll be get one of those. Across the bottom of the sill. I did notice, sorry, I did. There was a little bit of a burn through that I've missed on the leading edge on the boot there. As we go down the passenger side, the roof again. It's all okay and nice. Like I said, that chrome bit there once sorting out. A few little marks on the driver at the passenger front door. Leading edge again. A little chip here and there, but again, a couple of paces back, nice and presentable. Passenger front arch has got a little bit of a burn through here and a few little blebs in the paint. But again, if we go down here, you'll see, you can't see, a little bit of a mark there. But it's all nice and straight. No rust coming through there that I can see. A few little scratches underneath that reflector, but all nice and straight and clean down the side. Perfectly usable Rolls Royce, this one. Got a little bit of a mark down here on that front suede side on that crease. You can see the sink going on there a little bit. But again, lovely, presentable. Sits well as well, this one, sitting quite nicely. Overall, a nice, usable bodywork on this. On the interior now, like I say, dark green paintwork, lighter green roof, and then a green interior, which is really nice. It's got some wear on the door handle, and a bit of wear at the seat, like they always do. It hasn't been restored, the interior on this. It's as it was, sort of usable. And once a set of over mats, the mats underneath there have got some holes in them. The seats themselves are nice and firm. Of course, the dash top's all good. A little bit of delamination on the dashboard here as you can see we've got some delamination down there on the center console but it's not flaking off you can live with it as is or get them redone again not fortunes anymore about 100 quid a door cap i believe 80 quid or something like that see a nice amount of weight the driver's seat smells good in there as well this is the driver's rear again green on green a little bit of wear at the rear seat nice and firm it's not going to crack when you sit on it carpets in the back are lovely as you can see you've got the footstools as well both sides green carpet green seats headlining's nice as well unmark the headlining go around into the boot on our way around now boot carpet's all all right a little bit thin there but normally it's around here where the battery is and normally sometimes the battery actually gets out and i've seen a lot of them like that Seems to be missing the carpet off the inside of the boot, but that's all nice in there. This is the passenger rear door again. A few little marks on the door card. The wood's all right on there. It's uh, I think someone must have redone those at some point. Not that much lacquer on them, but it's all okay. As I go onto the passenger rear seat again, nice and soft. The carpet's lovely in the back. Foot through again, backs the seats are all good. Smells right as well. <coughs> Passenger front door card. Again, all right, same with the woods, or someone's obviously had to go to the wood at some point. A little bit of wet the seat again, but the bolster again is nice and soft. The backrest is good, and the carpet's got a little bit of a rip in there, so I think someone's put the rubber mat in, but the green carpet, you know, set of overrugs would sort all that out. 
nice interior, nice, nice colour scheme this one. Onto the engine now, you'll see a little bit tatty on the soundproofing, which are normally they're either brand new, missing, or a little bit tatty. Engine bay would warrant a bit of a clean, but it's all alright in there. I'll get it started up there. Sounds alright to me there, it seems like the key ran on a little bit. But no problems with that in there, you know we're quite happy. There you have it, the 1973 Rolls Royce Silver Shadow 1 in green, the green MFX roof and the green interior. Like I see the vendors and formers that's just had a break. Overhaul this and pads on the rear. Sitting nice there. 